<laughs> so, so here's the problem. The, the, so what all these services are is known as a reverse web proxy. They, they put themselves in front of, in, in our, it, it would be in our case, in, in front of GRC's server, and they field all of the traffic. All right, guys, I'm going to give you some more context, but this is an incredible video by Steve Gilbson, and uh, I really enjoyed this video. And uh, it kind of touches on our domain, backend engineer and reverse proxies. And uh, I'm going to give you some more context to what exactly this video here. I'm going to link uh, below to the actual video. But what the problem here is, back in 2016, the GRC, which is the website hosted by uh, Security Now and G uh, uh, Steve Gibson, uh, got attacked by a DDoS attack. And uh, it's a very interesting watch. Go and uh, watch that video. They uh, Steve describes exactly what happened, how it happened, and how he prevented that attack. And one of the suggestions that people on the comment section told Steve, it's like, Steve, ju just use a reverse proxy. Just use one of Cloudflare or Google services to prevent people from DDoS, from attacking your static IP address or all these services that you have, right? And here's his reply. He is against reverse proxies. And specifically when he explained that, he's referring to layer seven reverse proxies. And, and uh, let's just, uh, just go ahead and watch that part. What that means is that, that we would point our DNS to them. Mean that's correct. So that's where reverse proxy is. It will that that's the final destination to a user is the reverse proxy. We talked about that many many times in in this videos, right? So the user will connect to the reverse proxy. The reverse proxy terminate the traffic, does all the thing, and makes the request on behalf of the user to the final destination. In this case, the website. Meaning that 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 the IP for grc.com and www.grc.com would be the, into whoever provider we chose's um, uh, IP space. And then mm -hmm. here's the deal breaker for me. They control our domain True. and they have the certificate. That is the most interesting part, right? Because we talked about that. That's true. If, if you're using HTTPS traffic, well, and, and the reverse proxy is the final destination to the user, the reverse proxy should serve the certificate of your domain. So that means you have to give your private key and your public key to the reverse proxy. And Steve is completely against that. And I totally understand, right? Totally understand. Because I talked about that so many times in this channel. If you put a reverse proxy, guys, you have to, again, we're going to talk about an exception, where a layer four proxy than a TLS pass-through. We're talking about specifically TLS terminating reverse proxy, right? And yeah, if, if you're going to put that, you got to give them the certificate. And uh, if they are using SNI or other stuff, the same thing. They have to terminate that and look at the TLS hello and then serve that exact certificate they exactly need. So let's, let's continue watching for GRC. That's the way all of these places work. And I said, well, uh, sorry, but you know, that's, that's, a, that's not happening. Exactly. Right. Just like imagine someone doing uh, this for 20 years, right? He's, he's, by the way, I really recommend you go and follow security now, guys. Even if you don't understand most of the things they talk about, they talk about so much low level stuff and attacks and security, but just just listen to these experts, right? It's just geniuses. And, and you know, the response I got from, from one of them was, well, everybody else does it. Oh, my God. How many times have we heard that, guys? How many times that, okay, if everybody's doing it, then uh, probably that's the best solution, right? No, have an opinion, have a thought, always criticize, always question everything, guys. Don't follow things just because everybody's doing it doesn't mean 
that it's good, right? It's just you have to have common sense. And uh, you might also argue that, well, if that's the case, then, uh, so, so, okay, it's just playing the devil advocate here, right? So it's like, well, same thing with the banks, right? It's like, why should I put my money in the bank, right? Just if you don't trust the bank, then do, keep doing what, keep stashing it in, I don't know, in a box somewhere in your house. You can do that, right? You can, you can think about it this way, but still, if you have strong opinions about something, feel free to express them right it just doesn't mean that you have to uh can kind of follow ev what everybody's doing yeah sometimes you if you trust people if you trust cloudflare go ahead and uh, i'm not saying go, uh, steve doesn't trust cloudflare or anything but he just doesn't want and he ex explained where things actually breaks apart no it's not all just a, about giving the certificate away he will explain that some services will not work if i give you my certificate it's just some people need to ex uh, to connect to me directly i don't want the proxy to me uh, to make the connection on my behalf and it's like well, okay okay you know i'm not i'm not representing to the people who visit my website that that they have a secure connection between my server which I stand by and their browser. What this means is this is exactly what we're talking about all the time with an, a, a, a corporate appliance in the middle, or in this case, an organization in the middle. Suddenly, everybody at this third-party DDoS provider uh, has essentially access to the secure traffic to GRC. That is true. It's going to terminate TLS, it's going to serve the certificate, and it's going to look at the traffic. And that's the only way, I mean, only way, that's the best way to mitigate DDoS, right? Because I need to look at the, how the traffic looks like to begin with, right? If, if that's essentially sneaky, uh, if, if, the encrypt, if it's an encrypted traffic, I cannot look at it, right? I have to terminate it and I have to look at it in order to determine if it's DDoS or not. And Steve is not comfortable with that and, I absolutely understand, right? If you're doing this for 20 years and it's like, hey, I can do my own uh, services and I can serve my own certificate. I'm not comfortable serving my certificate just to get the service. But he, he does explain that sometimes you might just buy the bullet and do it because you don't have another situation because the attack carried on his website was brutal. And he explained, I'm, I'm not going to go through that part, part, but go watch that video. It's a two hour video, but just skip to the DDoS. I'm going to put the actual uh, timestamp to jump into the DDoS mitigation attack part. It's very, very interesting, guys. Let's continue. Because they interpose themselves and they terminate the HTTP, HTTP connection. HTTPS. So they've got a, a private key for GRC, mm -hmm. at least a domain validation certificate at the minimum, and they can get one because they're able to prove that they have ownership of GRC's DNS because part of the deal is I've given them ownership of <laughs> GRC's DNS. Mm -hmm. So, so um, you know, again, it is the the last thing I hope I have to do. Now, you know, the only real thing we've got happening uh, is credit cards for e-commerce. And again, yes, everybody does this, but I really hope I don't have to because I would rather be responsible for GRC security. It's just me, a compromised employee or anything. It's just me. So... Um, uh, the other thing, though, for example, is perfect passwords, which is, you know, GRC's crazy random number generator. Yeah, exactly. See, for example, he has a service where he generates password. Are you comfortable sharing this password with the reverse proxy? Maybe it, it will be because anything, any traffic between you and this reverse proxy is going to be decrypted at some point And you, you can you guarantee that the reverse proxy cannot store it? Same thing with the VPN. You just take their word for it. <laughs> you have no idea that they are storing that stuff, right? Some VPN companies claim that we're using like a, uh, a temporal random 
uh, containers that we spin up and it's completely in memory and it doesn't flush anything to disk and it just works out of, of RAM. Well, there is no way to prove it. You can just take kind of take their word for it. And then, the, yeah, the whatever uh, concerns Steve have is absolutely valid. Servers behind a behind a reverse web proxy, which which is the only way to keep GRC on the net, that to keep GRC's web presence, web presence on the net. That's a very important web present, right? That's why he, he stopped right there for a minute and he said web because he's very, very, you, you can see this guy has like a lot of experience. He's very careful choosing, choosing his words, right? So yeah, uh, I'm going to end the video here, but I'm going to finally just mention something that he didn't mention, Steve. I don't know if he knows about it, but there is options, and I don't know if other services provide that, but there is the ability, what we're talking about here is the TLS termination, where the reverse proxy in order to mitigate DDoS attacks and prevent them from happening is let all the traffic goes to the reverse proxy and, and it doesn't have to be one server, right? It has, could, could be VIP, right? A virtual IP and, and multiple machines and all that stuff, right? So yeah, and that central point, terminate the TLS, serves the certificate traffic, look, decrypt the traffic, look at it and determine the legis legitimacy of the request and if it's good it's it passes through the back end server which is in this case the grc the, their website the security now website and then otherwise just kill it right the other way where which i believe steve if he hear about it it could be better i'm i'm pretty sure he knows about it by now it's, it's an old value but it's called tls pass through where you still get to keep your certificate steve at the back end and your private key and everything and what the and, and the only thing you give up is the domain right you point your domain to the reverse proxies ip address and all the traffic will go through that domain but what they do is basically just a tcp proxying which is a layer four proxy and and they only look at the packet they pass in the client hello to you they pass in the all the requests at that level to you directly but the only thing they can look at is the source ip the destination ip they can look at that tcp packet they cannot look at your data well how much information can they extract on that based on the port the ip and the frequency of packets coming from these different ip addresses and is it enough to prevent the ddos attack i have no idea to be honest I have no experience in that domain, right? I'd never built a DDoS prevention service before. But I believe with the knowledge of the application layer, definitely you can prevent DDoS. I'm not sure at the packet level. You can obviously prevent send flood attacks, TCP send floods attack. That definitely can happen at the TCP layer without looking at the data. But it's just an interesting thought, guys. What do you think? I'm going to leave that to you let's have some discussions obviously this video is uh, fair use I'm, I'm commenting on this video so uh, sorry steve if i copied some of your footage hope that's okay and uh, yeah and and uh, essentially just let's have a discussion guys what do you think are you okay of uh, giving your certificate to a reverse proxy to prevent ddos attack or uh, are you just you don't really care you actually host your content on a cloudflare web server so they already see your content they already cache it they already do that so, um, some people are perfectly fine with that some people have very very sensitive data that it's it's impossible to share it with the cloudflare or any other public provider ddos or not all right guys uh short video today just discussing this very interesting video i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye thanks steve